Hello everybody, Siraz here, and man, it's been a while since I've done that. Usually I've been kind of like, hello everybody, Siraz here, but I felt like today was a hello day. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I am bringing you guys another cast. Today we are going to be watching two Korean players, and they are going to be playing on Steps of War, and it is going to be a PVT. We have Oggs SSKS spawning as the Yellow Protoss, and Oggs the STC spawning as the Green Terran. And a little bit about this game, or well, this is actually the game one of a best of three. And this best of three was played in the Jisado King of the Hill. And what this is, is uh, this guy named Jisado hosts this King of the Hill. And if a player can win so many times in a row, there's like a prize for him. So if you win like 15 times in a row, you win like 5 bucks. And if you win like 20 times in a row, you win like 10 bucks. Um, stuff like that. So the more you win, the more you win. And it's just a cool little um, idea, this King of the Hill that this guy runs. And it seems to be quite popular. And the thing is, he only allows like top tier players to play. So... Each match is actually pretty a pretty good match. And for, so this is the first game of a best of three. And before we go on, I'll just tell you a little about these players. Um, I looked them up on like SCE ranks or whatever. And it looks like Oggs, the STC, was ranked like 166th in the world. So very solid player. And Oggs, the SSKS, was ranked like 450th. <laughs> Oh, man. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm a little bit in the allergy season here, and it's starting to... Well, not really allergy season, but for whatever reason, my allergies are flaring up. It's starting to bug me a little bit. And looks like we are going to have a Zealot, early Zealot, coming out from SSKS uh, here. And the STC has not blocked off his ramp, so this Zealot could come in and do quite a bit of damage here. If he isn't careful, he does have this bunker going up, and so I guess he should be able to defend uh, pretty easily. He has a Marine around here. Here's a Marine. Needs to bring that Marine back, though. Oh, no! And this Marine is actually going to be forced away from the base of the STC. And, ah, uh, he's actually, oh, gets taken out by another Zealot reinforcement. So now the STC has no army. He's trying to uh, build this marine here, but he's a little bit delayed because he did put down the tech lab. So it looks like we, he is going to take some mineral or worker damage here. Uh, one worker going down, two workers going down, a third worker going down. Oh, this is so terrible for the STC. Finally getting a Marine out, but a single Marine, I don't know if it'll be able to deal with a Zealot. We see another Zealot. Oh, looks like they actually decided to retreat. But actually, four workers going down to that Zealot. So Zealot easily paid for himself there looks like he's even gonna go for another worker just waiting for a shields true gen and will he get it uh, and the worker does escape and the reaper and marine take out that last zealot and finally finally the sct can breathe a little easier now as there is no longer any zealots in his base so we see a marauder coming out as well as a factory going up so just uh kind, kind of continuing on his use as usual and useful can you tin wow I cannot talk today <laughs> um, continuing on as usual L you can see though from the income tab that he is down a little bit I mean 18 to 25 that's a pretty big deficit even for a Terran versus Protoss the Protoss should be up a couple workers just because they usually chrono boost out workers but uh, not seven seven's a pretty big deficit and, you know, we all know why that happened. Obviously, the Zealot did uh, make that happen. So, we see two gates and a robo-facility going up for SSKS. So, two-gate robo-built. And that's probably a decent response here. Um, he did see that factory going up. And the good thing about that robo uh, facility is you get out that early observer and it can really help you scout and decide what your next move is. So... He'll probably come over here, see another Rax, and expect uh, some sort of push. But also, we do see a Starport. So, interesting, interesting. Probably, I would be thinking Tank, um, Marine, Raven at this point. I guess a couple of Marauders here as well, but... 
I, that'd be really the only reason I could see going double racks um, into a starport here. And we'll have to see how the SSKS decides to respond to that. Throwing up a robotics bay. Uh, actually, yeah, that probably is a pretty decent counter. I mean, I don't know. I'd maybe like to see Templar Tech instead, but I guess he already has that robotics facility, so the robotics bay is a natural transition. And the Colossus will really help him deal with the Marines and then allow the rest of his force to take care of those tanks. And it looks like we might see some sort of push out here, uh, but the STC kind of forgetting his tanks. What's going on here? <laughs> and it looks like an observer is going to catch that. And you know what? The robotics facility was actually put up before he knew about uh, this army, so I don't really know uh, what I was talking about there. <laughs> I just realized that I'm like the observer wasn't out yet. He did. Does, he's playing blind here, basically. Just choosing to go Colossus. And looks like that's a little bit of a misstep moving out without the tanks. And we are going to lose a Marine here. Oh, and actually STC turning around. Going to snipe that Stalker. And a Stalker for a Marine. Good trade, definitely. Oh, and look at these force fields going off. Trapping half of the army there. And taking out a, like two, three Marines and a couple Marauders. So very nice force field play by the SSKS there. And really allowing him to get up in the unit uh, loss tab. I mean, looking looking at this, 1,000 to 400. So really, SSKS has played at least a better macro game so far. We do see an expansion going up for the STC. And just continuing to build some tanks and marines here. He has a starport and actually going for a banshee. I thought for sure we were going to see some sort of raven attack. Oh, we do have a raven out as well. So one raven and then switching to a banshee. Oh, and is the raven actually going to get sniped here? That would be terrible. Losing that raven before even it's able to use any energy. But it actually does get away. So nice uh, catch there by the STC. Just moving him away at the last possible minute, I guess. And looks like we are going to have some stalkers moving out. Going to kill this SCV. Oh, and are they going to get the Raven? Oh, and a point defense drone goes down in time to save the Raven's life. But, ah, uh, that's... Uh, that, hurt, that really is a good play, though, by... Uh, SS Chaos because he did force the Raven to use that point defense drone and that's really what Ravens are I mean that's their strong point is they can throw down the point defense drone to deal with these stalkers but now they has to wait for a hundred energy once again and that takes quite a while so really now would be probably a good time for the SS Chaos to consider an attack and looks like that might be what he's doing. We'll have to see what he does here. We do have some siege tanks, though. And that can be kind of frustrating to deal with. You don't really want to run into that. I think... Well, he really has pretty a pretty zealot heavy army here. If he had more of a ranged, he might be able to move up here and try and snipe uh, the tanks. But the zealots would have to go all the way around and they'd take a bunch of damage. And I don't know. Maybe that was a, that's probably a good choice to back up. And we do see an expansion going up for the Protoss player as well. Interesting choice. He didn't put it as natural. He put it at like his second natural or whatever. And at the same time, we did have a Banshee coming in here, killing four workers. Um, just kind of forcing the or SSKS to back off and really buying the STC some more time to get up his defenses, uh, get some more units out, let his Raven regen a little bit. So I like this Banshee play. Very good. Uh, very good to buy time. We also have another Banshee coming around this side. And I assume we are going to see a nice bit of harass from this guy as well. Going to take out some more workers at the expansion. Ooh, but we do have three stalkers there to ward it off. So the Banshee has to back up. Now, this Banshee trying to poke in as well, but running into a stalker. So nice uh, stalker positioning here by SSKS to effectively deal with this Banshee harass before it did too much damage. We do see... Uh, the STC trying to kill these destructible rocks. And probably going to take a third of his own. Is he building another command center? Does not look like it. He did add a second starport. So continuing to go with this Banshee Raven um, sort of force with a few tanks and marines. 
And I actually really like this force. I think it'll work really well against this army of SSKS. We have the Ravens to nullify the Stalkers, and then the Banshees to go to work on the Colossus, and then the rest of the army. And the tanks to just do a ton of damage in their own right. So I think the STC has a much better army at this point. But the SSKS does see what's going on, using his observer to kind of pop in there, play a chicken with the ravens, and see what's kind of going on. The Marines probably thinking about trying to snipe that, and some Colossus, uh, and the entire army just kind of moving out here, trying to almost contain, I guess. But looks like the STC feeling pretty confident, and wants to move out and uh, basically force a fight here. And we'll have to see if that's what he does. He's maybe slowly moving out. Um, putting up some scans to see where the forces are. So he's feeling pretty comfortable. He's not walking into a trap. Slowly sieging up his tanks as he goes. And look at these Colossus. Completely out of position. This is really bad for SSKS. He cannot really fight with these Colossus. Because if he brings them in, they'll just get taken out. And oh, look at how fast these Banshees are just going to take out this Colossus. So no more Colossus for the S or, uh, SSKS, and I think he's going to be forced to retreat. And we have these tanks here as well, basically stopping production um, on this uh, or from this expansion. And look at that nice point defense drone actually allowing the Banshees to snipe that Nexus without taking any damage from those Stalkers. So... Very, very bad position here for SSKS. Uh, he can't really break this at this point. And he's pretty much contained in his base. He can't take this expansion. So he's on two base here. And that's that's all he can do. We're even getting some more uh, <laughs> bunkers being added. And this will just make breaking the contain so much harder. Looks like SSKS thinking about going for it, but then changing his mind. Waiting for some reinforcements, some more stalkers. Ooh, and that stalker taking one extra shot. And we'll have to see if uh, SSKS, or how SSKS decides to deal with this. I think he was thinking about doing some sort of flank here, but that just allowed the tanks to move in and just solidify uh, this this contain but looks like he is gonna go for it here sending the immortals in front very nice control uh tanking the tank shots but i just don't think it's going to be enough these stalkers just being nullified by point defense drones and look at how much damage those banshees do to stalkers um just taking them out also we have the tanks blasting away and oh looks like ssks realizes this and ggs out of the game so it looks like the first game goes to Augs the STC the green Terran player and with that I'll get on to game two